Hey, uh, good evening. Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com, and it's Monday, uh, February 26th. Um, excuse me, January 26th. Wow, I had a reverse flux capacitor and went forward uh, up to the future. Anyway, um, I just want to go over LID again. Uh, I talked about this last week when the stock was bouncing here, and I've had a couple free chart videos on it. Um, the stock is now up at resistance. Here's the thing. The, the company is due to announce earnings um, like over two weeks, between two and three weeks from now, depending on when they actually do it. So this stock has plenty of chances to break out. Um, the whole automotive, like the used automotive um, industry, if there is such a thing, is actually doing uh, really well. You look at AutoNation, at least it's not doing bad. Um, look at CarMax as opposed to CarMax, um, which is also doing well. So these are, and GPI, just look at that real quick. A nice bounce off the 200-day moving average. I mentioned that in, um, in tonight's strategy session, among other things. But here with Lithia, I think you want to, don't just close out this position because it's at resistance. Instead, keep a fairly tight stop on it because the way the industry is going, the way the market's going, um, this is a stock that could ultimately move higher to test this last high here, which is about 5 or 6% higher than it is right now, which would be a pretty nice trade right off the bottom. We live for trades like this, short little 10, 15, 20% trades in a fairly short period of time. You know, if you can do that time and time again, pretty soon you're talking about real money. Also, um, you can look and see... On the, on the ADX indicator, which I covered a while ago in a members-only webinar, um, the green line is good. Green over red, good. Um, uptrend, just starting to kind of pick up a little bit of steam, not a lot. But you can see if you know how to use this indicator. Um, this is a stock that looks like it's working. So I would stay long. What are you going to do um, just before earnings? Couldn't tell you. We're not just before earnings. We'll handle that when the time comes. But this looks like it's got some pretty good trading volume, um, big moves today. So uh, I would just stay long this stock. At least keep a tight stop if you took this when I first suggested it, just in case the stock whipsaws. Put a stop on part of your position, at least.